Week 8 of the 2022 NFL season has come and gone. A lot of surprises, as there is every week in the NFL. And we are officially at the halfway point of the 2022 NFL regular season. We are going to be closing the chapter on Week 8. Looking forward to previewing Week 9. Talking about the massive trades that have happened so far with the trade deadline passing. As well as talking about some teams that probably we have no more hope in for the 2022 season. Mm. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a brand new episode of Time to Football. My name is Hassan Khan, the host of the show that we like to call Time to Football. I'm the host, but not the lone host. Mm -hmm. We actually have a co-host yeah. joining us, as we do frequently, except for the last month. But ladies and gentlemen, making his marvelous, triumphant return Standing. onto Time to Football, it is Anthony DuVernay. <sighs> And the crowd goes wild. What's up, y'all? It's good to be back. I'm ready. Let's get into it. We have a lot to explain it to because there was a lot of people asking, where is Anthony on the show? Like, mm. how, how long has it been? A month, I would say? Like, maybe four or five weeks? It's been too long, brother. So, what what was the explanation? Uh, work. Oh, shoot. Man. Hassan is not really flexible when it comes to my work schedule. So, he was like, you can either make these times or you can't. And I was like, all right, sorry, brother. You're a bad boss, but whatever. It's okay. I mean, yeah. So we got, we had to let him go. We <laughs> had to like cut ties. You know, we lost a lot of money actually, yeah. you know, because he signed like a W 2 and everything. And so then, yeah. Uh, yeah. So he's going to have to pay me taxes eventually, even though he got fired. Uh, so, uh, by the way, yeah, just heads up about that. Yeah. yeah uh, so, but we, thanks. we made up for everything and now he's back. <laughs> and the Giants, he's a Giants fan. Yeah. As well. So the 6-2 and two New York Giants, yeah. you're excited about oh, that? I'm stoked. I'm stoked. I'm excited. We're going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> hey, there was two, the two years that the Giants went to the Super Bowl in 2007 and 2011. Yeah. They were 6-2. and two. Then they had a late season collapse kind of towards the mm -hmm. end of the regular season, but they, they eventually picked it up Man, on the, team, the Super Bowl. The team is looking good. They're confident. They're, they're, just, yeah. they're just winners. That's, what, that, that's all they are. All they do is Even win. though we lost badly. <laughs> it's okay. It happens. To Gino and the Seahawks? Hey, they are... Uh, They're looking good. Gino ain't writing back. Like, they looking they, good. They are looking good. They're looking good. Uh, and some other teams that are looking good post-trade deadline. We actually wanted to get Anthony's reaction to these trades. So we're going to mention these trades, yeah. talk about the teams, if it makes them better or not. Ooh. Anthony, you actually were at work, and you haven't had a chance to be on your phone or anything. I don't have a uh, So you don't know anything about any of the trades that oh. happened. Um, did you know that, uh, Christian McCaffrey, <laughs> I couldn't even finish that sentence. Did you know that Chris, <laughs> Christian McCaffrey is on the 49ers? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about that, yeah. Breaking news, breaking news. Breaking news, yeah. <laughs> uh, five days after it happened or something, but, uh, gosh, longer than that. Yeah. But these trades that happened today, because by the time we show you the show, it is Tuesday night, if you guys are watching the premiere. Uh, and the trade deadline ended 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, the first trade, Bradley Chubb, very talented defensive player, mm -hmm. has been traded from the Denver Broncos to the Miami Dolphins in exchange for a first-round pick, a fourth-round pick, and running back Chase Edmonds. So, the Broncos are getting Edmonds and a first-round pick? And a fourth. Who do you think won that trade? The Broncos. Ooh, okay. Bro, is that even a question? You get the first round pick and you get Edmonds. Edmonds is a beast. I like Edmonds a lot. Edmonds is pretty good. He's talented. Now, so far in Miami, he hasn't really done. Uh, I will say this. Him. I will say this. He leads prior to last week. I don't know if it's changed, but prior to last week, he led everyone in the NFL and dropped passes. As a running back. He's well, not even a receiver. Maybe I just think he's good because I use the Dolphins on Madden 23. Bring you war. Come see me. <laughs> well, the Dolphins, all you got to do is just speed and Madden. Like, and yeah, yeah, yeah. We should hit the sticks. I'm, yeah. press, I'm pressing triangle to hill all day. <laughs> just <laughs> yeah. triangle. That's it. That's it. Uh, but, okay. And and for the Dolphins, yeah. do you think that this is going to help their defense? I mean, it is going to help their defense, but yeah. do you think this is going to catapult them to the Super Bowl? Uh, cat No. No, no, no. Okay. I still haven't seen the Dolphins get back to um, pre-concussion. Yeah. I mean, they won two straight. 
That did, I I know, but it wasn't. They they don't look as explosive. Yeah. I, I don't know. Is it just me? No, I understand. I mean, last week they had a killer offense. I mean, against the Lions, it, but it was but Lions, the Lions, you know. <laughs> so I I get what you're saying. They got some tough matchups coming ahead against some pretty tough defenses as well. So, uh, but I mean, it looks like the Dolphins are going all in and trying to improve their defense. That That's has good. been somewhat of the weak point for the Dolphins. So I'm excited far. for them for sure. I'm excited for them. Yeah. I love seeing teams sneak up like that. Like we didn't expect the Dolphins to turn out the way they were today. Right. I mean, not today, but yeah, this, this year. Season. Yeah. This season. Five so. and three. Roquan Smith moved from the Bears to the Ravens in exchange for a second round pick and a fifth round pick. Uh, so the Ravens defense is getting better. Now, do you think that the Ravens with an improved defense mm-hmm. can make the Super Bowl? I I think so. Okay. I think so. Fair enough. That, I mean, that's... The defense is improving. Their offense looks great. Shout out to my cousin, Devin DuVernay. I'm not sure. I don't, I'm not sure if we're really cousins. Maybe. I don't know. You never know, man. 23 and me. Is that's that what it's called? 23 and me. Wait, hold the, on. The is, that, is that what it is? Uh, that, the I ancestry. Think that is. Okay, ancestry. I, I mean, know. my last name is Khan, and the owner of the Jacksonville Jaguars, his last name is Khan, and he's a billionaire. Bro, connections. So, like, I need a freaking Yo, pay help pay. us. Like, help us meet our family members. Yeah, no, don't <laughs> just help me. Help me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but who won that trade? You said. Yeah, who won it? Uh, the Ravens. The Ravens. Okay. Mm-hmm. And and, and the, Bears. The Bears got a long way to go before oh, they man. become a competing team. The Bears have traded for Chase Claypool from the Pittsburgh Steelers, so they get some receiver help. Yeah. And the Bears traded. The Steelers got rid of Claypool. Steelers got. Rid of Claypool. They're okay moving on with Deontay Johnson and George Pickens as their top two receivers. And the Bears had to give up a second round pick in exchange for Chase Claypool. Do you think who do you think won that trade? Right now, the the Bears. Because they need that help. Where's who's Fields throwing to? No one exactly. besides <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Jordan yeah. Mooney was the only one. So I mean the Bears, as of like right now, I think they won that. Won that. But I mean, it's good. I think it's good for the Steelers because the Steelers are playing this cat and mouse game where they're like, no, we're not getting anything. Because it was the Packers that were asked about Chase Claypool as well. Mm. And they were asking for nothing less than a second round pick. And it's like, uh, I get Claypool is good, but like a second rounder is. Being like high. That. Yeah. He, he, I mean, yeah. a second round is way too much, but I guess the Bears caved in. And wow. I mean, okay, why, so why the Packers? The Packers were looking into. I'm done. I'm done with the Packers. The Packers were also looking into Brandon Cooks. Uh, who else were they looking Whoa. into? I don't think they asked about Jerry Judy. Jerry Judy was asked about by the New York Giants, but they didn't get a deal done. That would have been nice. That would have been nice. Uh, that would have been bad for the Broncos, but that would have been nice for the Giants. Yeah, so Chase Claypool going to the Chicago Bears. I mean, yeah, in the moment, seems awesome for the Bears, but yeah. they're just kind of in a rebuilding phase, it seems like. But, I mean, trading a second-round pick is kind of a – for a team that's rebuilding, that's a little bit of a, of a high ask. Uh, but anyways, moving on, TJ Hawkinson, Detroit Lions tight end. Very talented. He has been traded from the Detroit Lions – to the Minnesota Vikings in exchange for a second round pick and a third round pick as well. Who do you think won that trade? And this is actually in the wake because the Minnesota Vikings lost their tight end, Irv Smith, for the seat. Not maybe not the season, but for a long time. And they needed a, ta- a talented tight end, so TJ Hawkinson. That's mm-hmm. so who they got. The Lions. Mm. I think the Lions won that. Okay. I mean, the dude's a beast. I like him. I like him a lot. But second and third round pick for the Lions, who's also rebuilding, I think that was a good move. Yeah, and it's interesting because we talked about trades that are so far-fetched. And remember the DeAndre Hopkins trade from the Texans to the Cardinals? Like yeah. years back? And people were like, what the heck are the Texans doing, right? Mm-hmm. At least the Texans traded – their star player to another team outside in a different conference. This is not only in the same conference, mm-hmm. but in the same division. 
So I think TJ Hawkinson is going to light it up against the Lions for years to come. Oh, like, yeah. Like, this is – so, but, I mean, the second and third round pick, to your points, I mean, the Lions in a rebuilding phase, that, that seems kind of yeah. kind of valuable. I think it's a win-win for both because the Vikings, with only one loss so far for the season, sat at a nice spot where they just needed help yeah, at this man, point. That's so that's crazy. I mean, and Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, TJ Hawkinson, Dalvin Cook. That's nice. They didn't trade Alexander Madison. He's still there. So, like, that's, this that's offense is. That's nice. It's all up to Kirk Cousins uh, to, oh. to get it done. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, Naheem Hines, running back for the Indianapolis Colts. Very talented pass catching back. Uh, scored a touchdown, did some backflips in the end zone. I don't know if you remember years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, he's been traded to the Buffalo Bills. So the Bills have a running back room now filled with Naheem Hines, Devin Singletary, James Cook, because they also traded Zach Moss, the Bills did, to the Colts in exchange for Naheem Hines. So do you think Hines helps the Buffalo Bills? No. That don't that trade don't really make sense to me. I mean, yeah, yeah. In theory, I guess. We don't know what the Bills are thinking because I, I thought the same thing. I'm like, Devin Secretary is like a very good Bro, he's a, he's, yeah, he's great. Like pass catching back as well. Uh -huh. and, but, I mean, maybe they're thinking creatively. They can use Hines in like different formations and stuff like that. Even more so, size? I, guess, like, I, I, don't know. I don't know. And they spent a sec, second round pick. I believe it was a second rounder on James Cook last year, the rookie running back from Georgia. Mm. Uh, and it's like, oh, James Cook was supposed to be the running back of the future and now – no, you brought in you, Hines. You brought yeah. in Hines. I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they're just looking at it in the perspective of we're Super Bowl or bust. We're just trying to get the right players. I don't I don't I don't understand that. I don't know. But So who won that trade? You're, yeah, who won that? Not the Bills. <laughs> <laughs> like the Bills are good. Bro, the Bills are great. Like Yeah. Like I guess I guess I'm bothered because they're already great and they made a trade that like to me doesn't really change that that doesn't change the team at all for the better or even for the worse it's just a let's just bring in Hines right you know that's true I mean and I think they gave up a fifth rounder as well so it was Zach Moss and a fifth rounder for Naheem Hines totally understand like it's not the biggest splash uh but I think it's for me. It's just kind of like a wait and see kind of thing. Like, yeah. let me just see how they're going to use him. Like, let me just see that. I'm not going to say anything now. Yeah, talented player, but I'm with you. Like, you know, we'll see. Let me just mention one more, and this hurts my heart as a Falcons fan. Well, what so, is this? The Falcons traded a player for a fifth round pick this year and a second round pick next year. <laughs> Okay. They go to Falcons making poor business decisions again. <laughs> oh, I'm upset about this. Okay. So a fifth round pick and a second round pick they acquired from the Jacksonville Jaguars to trade this player who's currently not playing on the team because he is suspended due to gambling issues. Calvin Ridley has been traded to the Jacksonville Jaguars in exchange for a fifth rounder and a second rounder. So Damn. the Jaguars are preparing for the future, obviously, because Ridley can't play this year. And the Falcons, I don't know. Maybe it's a cap space thing. What are your thoughts? That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. It hurts. Because, look, you got, you got Pitts, London, your superstars, your studs, and um, Zacchaeus. Is it Zacchaeus? It is Zacchaeus. Okay. Like Lamed Zacchaeus. Yeah. That's such a Greek name. Yeah. You know what I'm like a Greek god. He doesn't play like one, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not he's not a stud. If they just waited it out and had Ridley out on that field, man, I think that would have been crazy. Man, they're doing that thing again. They're doing that thing where they're not gonna make the playoffs, but they're good enough to not get a top ten pick. They do this all the time. All the time. And it's happening again. It's and I mean, if you just familiar. if we just kept Ridley, oof, when is he cleared? Fun. Next year. Next year. Yeah, he's so out. What? He's he's out for the season, right? Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. So I mean, Jaguars. I mean, smart on them. Like a second rounder in twenty twenty four. I guess that's like kind of a yeah. Okay, fine. 
sure, I'll take that. But mm-hmm. yeah, it, to me, it seems like maybe it's more like a cap space kind of thing. It's Calvin Ridley was going to be 28 next year. So maybe I don't know. But still, like, I, I hate when I know their ages. Yeah. It really bothers me. I'm turning 29, and you're like, here you got these 26, 27 year olds making millions of dollars. Trust me, I've been on this route. This, this <laughs> thought's been in my head. I'm 29 God. right now, right? So I'm like, oh, yeah, like, I can still, like, hang with, like, the 22, 23 year old. No, those guys are, like, more athletically, like, yeah. Ma- Mariota just turned 29 on Sunday. That's crazy. Yeah. Beat the Panthers, too. He did. Ooh, what a was, game that was. That was a crazy game. Hey, who am I? <laughs> You're more. I am more. They should have won that game. The Panthers? Yeah. Nah. They should have lost that game because Moore was the only reason why they caught the touchdown. You can't be mad at Moore because they're the only ones. Yes, yes, you can. Yes, you can. You got to be mad You're... at Eddie Pinheiro, if anything, man. He's trash. But, yes, you should still be upset with Moore because if you know you have a trash kicker, don't make him go further out. <laughs> I love the logic, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you want to keep your trash kicker as close as possible. <laughs> wow, yeah. <laughs> I don't think Moore goes into the celebration thinking like, oh, I can't do this because of my trash kicker. Uh, but maybe he is. I don't know. Like, oh, Yeah, man. crazy game. That was probably the game of the week, I would say. That was uh, an intense. That, that was a good that game. That was a very good game. They he, both played really well. Yeah, me and my wife, uh, we were just, we screamed every single time. We stood up like, ah, no God, no God, ah. Dude, it was. Just over and over again. It was wild. And then Young Way Koo, ooh, ice in his veins. Uh, But that is your trade deadlines. Leave your comments down below, by the way. I want to hear your thoughts about all these players. uh, And do you think these teams have gotten better with the acquisitions? And who do you think has won or which teams have won these trades? Now let's talk about some teams that have had some pretty rough starts. We had high expectations for them going into the season. We're midway through the season at this point. Mm -hmm. We have a good feel of who's good, who's bad. So I asked you, uh, just name a couple of teams that you have lost hope in, that you have no hope left in in making the postseason this year. I was going to say the Bucs, but I still have hope in them. They're not, they're not what yeah. we thought they were going to be. But I think there's still time to turn it around. I do, too. I think that they make it in when we were talking about the Atlanta Falcons. I think they make it in by default because of the NFC South being so bad. Mm-hmm. You know, like, I think the Falcons could compete for the South, but yeah. Bucks, like I said, 60-40 could lean towards Bucks. But Oh, um, just thought of one. The Rams. Los Angeles Rams. I think I lost hope in them. Yeah, man. And then not making a move in the trade deadline as well. Like, they were asking everyone. Like, they tried to get Christian McCaffrey. Yeah. And they tried to get uh, – who else did they ask for? I think they asked for Brian Burns, who's a defensive end on the Panthers. They asked for Kareem Hunt as well. Wow. And they weren't able to get any of these players. And now you're sitting with Cooper Cup, who's could be missing like maybe one, yeah. maybe two games. I don't know. Offensive line is not that great. Running game is like, oh my gosh, what happened to Cam Akers and Daryl Henderson and all these guys? Yeah. And Matthew Stafford is just not playing as well as he used to play. So, yeah. I, I yeah, Rams. What about you? I am officially out on the Green Bay Packers. Oh. I am out. Yeah, I, I am too. It's, they it's, looked terrible. Oh my gosh. What's today? Tuesday? It is Tuesday. When they play Sunday, they look terrible. Aaron yeah. Rodgers looks frustrated. He doesn't look like he's leading the team well. He, how he got sacked. It's like I I don't know the official stat, but me yeah. me either. I was hoping you would finish it when I when I pause like that. You usually finish it for We're me. We're not quite. It's been a month. <laughs> it's been a month since we've we've done this. So like. Crazy amount of times. Hey, I said it again. He's been sacked. Say it again. He's been sacked. Crazy amount of times. That's right. I've never seen his jersey so green. Ah, uh, well, I mean, he wears a green jersey. Other than that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, other than that. 
Uh, yeah, I am out on the Packers, man. Like, Good that call. was – I know it's the Bills. I know it's, like, one of, if not the best team in the NFL. I get it. It is the best team in the NFL. But they've they've struggled all season against these tough defenses. What's not to say that they aren't going to continue to struggle against these tough defenses? Like, the tough games that they have left on their schedule – they face Dallas. They face Tennessee. They face Philadelphia, Miami, and Minnesota. That is five games left. So say they, they're three and five right now. Why are you worrying about Tennessee? Anyway, we'll talk about King that. King Henry? We'll talk about five that. Five and two? Okay, all right. Great cold, uh, coaching. Whatever. That is true. Uh, yeah, I like them. Go ahead. But these are five teams that could – beat the Green Bay Packers, like have a realistic chance. And I would bet like going into these games, they're going to be labeled as favorites Yeah, to win those games. So if you lose all those games, but then you win the other games, you're going to be 7-10 and 10 at the end of the season. So they have to not only beat those easy, easy teams that you have mm. on your schedule, you have to beat either one or two of those other teams to even have a chance at making the playoffs, to be 8 or 9 or 9 and 8. Yeah. To get in, so I am, I'm out. I am sorry, Green Bay fans. I just, I wish it was better. I really do. But this offense is just not the same without Devontae Adams. It's a rough time for the old timers. Sorry for that awkward pause. I was trying. <laughs> <laughs> no, Green okay. Bay, we're out. I'm sure. I'm still trying to understand what that joke is. Are you talking about Tom Brady? Uh, Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady. Oh, man. All, all the old all heads, those guys. Man. Marcus Mariota, 29, <laughs> 28, 29 years old. Yo, he took his helmet off. He had a lot of grays, yeah, bro. Yeah, dude. That makes me worried. It's like in the yeah. late 20s, can you get gray hair? Isn't he like Hawaiian now? Yeah. yeah Is, so. Does that have something to do with it? Yeah. I got some Hawaiian friends with grays already. Really? Yeah. I don't know that. All right. Shout out to my homie, Kaika. All right, Kaika. Hopefully you don't go down. The, oh, no. Kaika does have gray hair. Yeah. Okay. Well, Tua, it's going to suck for you in five years. No. But, yeah, I am out on the Packers. Uh, and then another team, one more team, Arizona Cardinals. I am out. I, I don't think maybe we were in on them to begin with, maybe. But, I mean, they made the playoffs last year. They started 7-0 and last year. So, maybe people had hope for them. But, yeah, I'm out. I'm out. They're 3-5. and five. And in the next four games, they have Seattle, Los. the Rams. I don't know. I don't, okay, it's a toss-up. Okay, we'll just say it's a toss-up. Toss up. 49ers. Oh, that's a loss. And the Chargers. Yeah, that's a loss. So that's – okay, so say they lose three of their next four games. Yeah. You're sent at four and eight. It's going to be tough to rebound from that. Yeah, Hopkins is back. Yeah, and he's been looking great. I saw that one catch. Oh, my one gosh. Handed. That was beautiful. That was nice. That was, nice. that was beautiful. But it wasn't enough. Wasn't enough. Where's this defense at? Where's this defense? Uh, and then Kyler Murray with a couple of turnovers as well, but yeah, that's okay. Uh, yeah, but they can easily fall to 3-9, and 4-8 and eight after the next four games. But I'm out on the Packers, the Cardinals, and you say the uh, Rams. The Rams. The Rams, yeah. And the Packers as well. Uh, leave your thoughts in your comments. Which teams are you out on? Uh, do you see not making the postseason? It's going to be sh- kind of shocking to see the Packers out of the playoffs, but it's going to be refreshing. <laughs> it's going to, yeah, we need a, a breath of fresh air. Yeah, man, I'm just tired of seeing the same teams over and over. Yeah, that's why the Bucks can't make it in and the Falcons have to make it in. Come yeah. on. I'll be rooting uh, for you guys for sure. Yeah, I'll be rooting for the Giants. Yeah, really? I will, yeah. Thanks, bro. Dude, I got you. <laughs> leave your thoughts in your comments down below uh all right so to wrap it up uh let's just briefly go through uh each game i'm just gonna name them uh the teams that are facing and you just give me like your thoughts like who do you think is gonna win and got it uh whatever it is so uh first game thursday night football <clears throat> eagles versus texans what do you think mm. we got that's it's a, a tough one that's tough that's tough i mean you got on the texans you got Man, we're going, we're going with the Eagles, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, then you've also got. <laughs> oh, but don't forget. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, man. Uh, it's 
the the Texans give up the most uh, yards in the NFL to to running backs, so uh, it could be a big day to mm-hmm. Miles Sanders. I mean, I would say even in, in just in the run game with Jalen Hurts, like it's gonna be yeah, yeah, it's gonna be tough for the Texans on Thursday night football. Uh, going into Sunday, Chargers versus Falcons. The Chargers, uh, you know, they're coming off their bye week after in week seven. They lost to the Seattle Seahawks, and now Mike Williams and Keenan Allen could be out for this game against the Atlanta Falcons. So, yeah. what do you think? I'm gonna go Falcons. Falcons, okay. Yeah, okay. I like it. I mean, like I said, Falcons are top five in the NFL in rushing yards, and the Chargers' run defense is not that good. So they're gonna be running all over the Chargers. I think it could be a toss up either way, uh, but I, I could see the Falcons pulling this off. Uh, the Dolphins versus Bears. Dolphins, easy. 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 Justin Fields is looking he's looking better. Hassan. Next game. Next game. <laughs> Next game. Uh the Carolina Panthers with uh PJ Mouthbreather versus the Cincinnati Bengals, who lost to the Cleveland Browns on Monday night football in that upset loss. Uh what do you think? Panthers Bengals. Dang. Uh I'm I'm just gonna say I want to say toss up, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to say I'm going to say the Bengals. Okay, that's fair. No, that's fair. I mean, the only thing that's kind of like leaning towards the Panthers is like this offense has looked better they, with DJ Walker. Looks great. Walker. Yeah. It looks great. Like looks DJ great. Moore's back in it. Mm-hmm. Deontay Foreman, who's replaced Christian McCaffrey, he is a beast. He is such a beast. Uh, three touchdowns against the Atlanta Falcons, and then uh, the Bengals look lost without Jamar Chase. Man, they just. Um, but I, I, my mind is telling me Bengals in this one. Uh, Pat, do we just want to say that because they were a Super Bowl? Yeah, you know. But also, I mean, just all season the Panthers, like this offense is getting better, but yeah, I still don't trust it. You know what I mean? So, Not I, I trust the Bengals offense more than the Panthers. So. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Uh, Packers Lions division matchup. Do you think that the Packers rebound? There's no way the Packers can mess that up. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, uh, so, if, <laughs> yeah. If they do, if the Packers lose to the Lions, it's officially done. Like, we are officially out on them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, DeAndre Swift, I will say, Dan Campbell had an interesting note said that uh, DeAndre Swift still isn't ready. We don't know what that means per se. He was returned last week. So, if you you know, is limited in this game or whatever. Maybe it's a huge loss for the Lions. Uh, Raiders versus Jaguars. The Raiders got shut out by the Saints, 24-0, while the Jaguars uh, were defeated as well in London to the Denver Broncos. So, who you got in this game? I'm going to say the Jaguars on that one. I can see it happening. I still have faith in the Raiders. I mean, just Jaguars' defense just isn't that good. You know, neither is the Raiders, but, like, Mm -hmm. I mean, Darren Waller, I think, is coming back in this game. So we got Adams, Waller, Jacobs, who's been looking good. I'm, I'm going to go with the Raiders. Uh, could go either way. The uh, Colts versus the Patriots. Uh, Sam Ellinger, Ellinger had his first NFL start this last week against the Commanders. Didn't go as planned with Taylor Heineke, the Collins Hill legend, coming back Woo-wee! and winning that game. Uh and then for the Patriots, they finally rebounded, beat the New York Jets, but Mac Jones still isn't looking the best. Who do you mm-hmm. got in this game? I have the Patriots. You think it's gonna be all defense? Yeah. How did I didn't I didn't see his debut, Ellinger. Yeah. How did he do? Uh for a young quarterback making his first NFL start, I mean, it, you couldn't really ask for much. Mm-hmm. I think expectations going into it was but I mean it, the game was close. Like mm-hmm. the game was close. So I think they lost by one point, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. So he kept it close. Uh, had a touchdown there as well to Nah uh, Naheem Hines is on the Bills now. But uh Yeah, okay. I, I like the Patriots defense as well against this Colts offense. So uh Bills versus Jets. Hey, there's a lot of criticism right now going on with Zach Wilson. Uh and now people are talking about, hey, should Joe Flacco, who looked kind of good in the beginning of the season, should he just finally take over for Zach Wilson, who is known to like make people miss and do these incredible things out of the pocket, but after you make people miss, he doesn't really do anything after that. Like, yeah. So, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I don't... I'm going with... um. 
Who they play? The Bills. The Bills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't have well, to think too hard. Why am I th- yeah, the Bills. The Bills. Yeah. Uh it's it's gonna be another rough one for uh Oh yeah, it's gonna be a Zach long Wilson. day for them. Yeah. I'm interested in see uh James Robinson who was traded from mm. uh Jaguars to the Jets. I'm interested to see how much he's gonna get uh in this game. Uh, the Minnesota Vikings versus the Washington Commanders. Vikings coming off that 34-26 victory against the Cardinals. The Commanders, comeback victory from Taylor Heineke. We just mentioned him. And uh, the Commanders are going to be hosting this game. Who you got? Uh, Vikings. Could see it happening. And I think it will happen. Oh, I was like, <laughs> what? And, you know, the NFL is full of, full of surprises, so you never know. But, yeah, Vikings with their new toy and T.J. Hawkinson as well. I don't know how much he's going to be playing just being traded, but... I think this is better things to come for the Vikings. They're going to be competing uh, deep into January and February. Mm. And February. Did I say and February? Because that's when the Super Bowl is. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know. Uh, are you which are you going to that this year? Uh, no. Unless I get large amounts of money and I can fly out to Arizona. But uh, I don't think so. Now, I, just, I did get an email from the NFL, and they were like, hey, the credential application is open. So yeah. um, it is around this time every year. But in years past, I've been able to, like, it's been local or, like, mm-hmm. it's been over Zoom to interview players and stuff. This year, I don't know if it's going to be over Zoom. Gotcha. Because I think, I think COVID is over. We're back, bro. I don't know. We're back. Dude, COVID, COVID lasted forever. Is COVID over? I think so. I think it's over. I think it's over. But I don't know. You got to watch out for monkeypox now. Oh, my gosh. Monkeypox. Dude, there was like, how many confirmed cases in Atlanta? Too many. Too many. Scares me, dude. Bro, masked up, gloved up. Monkeypox, bro. Monkeypox. Go ahead, bro. The Seattle Seahawks versus the Arizona Cardinals. The last time these two teams faced was earlier this season, 19-9 to victory against the Cardinals. The Seahawks won. Yeah. The Seahawks with Geno are looking good. Yeah, Five and three, it. dude. And the Cardinals, man, they are three and five on the opposite end. Not looking good for them. Who you got in this game? Seahawks. Okay, I think, I think it's a rebound game. I think the Cardinals really? win this one. I, I do. I, I don't trust the Seahawks defense, and they've looked better in in the last couple of games. But I mean, gosh, but I don't want to discredit the Seahawks. Like those, the way that Pete Carroll is coaching the team is just amazing that man's like 72 years old yeah and still kicking still full of energy still you know like (laughs) he's just doing his thing man (laughs) (laughs) you kill me with those you do all your presentations so well do i yes you do what's another good one i can do um i'd show you but i mean you can't see it because i'm sitting down but uh i can run like a toddler that stole the remote from the parent so i can impersonate kyler murray that way oh my god so i but <laughs> i was like where are you going with this <laughs> that's good that's good i yeah. like it um the uh los angeles rams versus the tampa bay buccaneers these two teams faced in the nfc divisional round last year with the rams by the former Bucks kicker Matt Gay had a game-winning field goal, got some revenge against the Bucks. Actually, interviewed Matt Gay before the Super Bowl last year, and I was like, "Hey, how do you feel about that game-winning kick against the Tampa Bay Buc- Buccaneers? Or is there like any sort of motivation with them like releasing you?" And he's like, "Oh, I'd be lying if I said there wasn't a little bit of motivation behind it." And I'm like, "All right, well, I hope this week as well you get a little bit more revenge as well." And it you know, continues for the Rams, uh, but in that game. Who you got? So you're going for them because you interviewed him. I love Matt Gay. Yeah, he's a cool guy. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually interviewed a lot of Rams players. Van Jefferson, uh, Sony Michelle was he's not there anymore. Um, but a lot of defensive players as well. Actually, Leonard Floyd. Let me tell you a story. He's a uh, ooh story time. Story time. Here we go. So I interviewed Leonard Floyd last year, and I was asking him about Aaron Donald. I was like, dude, all these guys have to plan for Aaron Donald. Like what is like the craziest thing that you've seen an offense or a coach or somebody do to, to plan for Aaron Donald. And he says one play, no lie. I have seen four guys defend Aaron Donald, like plan to defend Aaron Donald with four guys. That was the play call. 
Like, how do you? I don't know. Anyways, crazy did, story. Did he like say it. the team? Did he say the team? He didn't say the team. Ah. Like, I wanted to know too. I was like, what the? What in the world? But like, that's, that's crazy, crazy, man. Yeah, that's wild. He's a beast. But uh, yeah, that's a lot of man. Rams, Bucks. Do you think that the? I mean, these two uh, teams are kind of like in a little yeah. bit of a decline. So, is they're gonna have cutback? I don't know. It's still early to tell. It's too early to tell. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm gonna say Rams. Okay. I'm gonna say Rams. I don't know, man, because I cannot see the Buccaneers like Tom a Tom Brady Brady team. I cannot see a Tom Brady team fall to three and six. That's just my mind telling me that. Yeah. You know, for the sake of being, you know fair i guess mm-hmm. to please the rams fans and the buccaneers fans that are watching this right now i'm gonna say the buccaneers i'm gonna say the buccaneers they're at home so i don't know maybe that oh. has something to do with it i mean it didn't last game it did not <laughs> last game so <laughs> yeah it doesn't matter but a home environment what's up have you seen these marshall lynch commercials man in your house I've seen it with the the bucks. Oh my god! Yeah. I love that. I love that they're doing that. Yo. <laughs> he was like, uh, Captain Black Sparrow. Yo, every other sentence is is a beat. Like it's every amazing. other word is a beat. I love it. I love it. Marshawn Lynch is that guy, man. I'm so glad that he's doing stuff like that. Yeah, I love Marshawn. It was so crazy because like during his career, he's just like kind of to himself. Maybe not like he's not a shy guy. He just mm-hmm. didn't want to give out information for like the media to like yeah, yeah, he didn't yeah, trust yeah. anyone but now he's just like goofy in himself and like yeah. you know love i love it, it man love it. uh but the tennessee titans versus the kansas city chiefs on sunday night football uh the titans five and two to the surprise of many malik willis getting his first nfl start last week winning in his first nfl start uh and the chiefs are coming off a bye week after looking like one of the better teams in the nfl yeah we got Um, I'm always going to go against the Chiefs. So I'm going to say the Titans. Do you just hate the Chiefs? You know what? I'm going to say it confidently. I'm going with the Titans. For the upset. You know what? I'm going to go with you. I'm going to say the Titans. Because Woo! I like seeing upsets happen. That's Why right. not? That's right. Who cares? Is it going to happen? Because Mahomes is a magician? <laughs> Who, who, cares? who cares? Who cares? Who cares? There's who? probably going to be someone mad at the comment. Who cares? We're going with the it's Titans. It's YouTube, dude. It's Titans. Let's just go with the Titans. Yeah. Who cares? Titans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, Chiefs are going to destroy them, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> uh, and then, finally, Monday Night Football, Baltimore Ravens versus the New Orleans Saints. The Saints... With Andy Dalton, the offense has looked better. Alvin Kamara finally involved. And for the Ravens, acquiring Roquan Smith. Yeah. This defense is getting better. Lamar yeah. Jackson, we already know. It's looking good. Mark Andrews, maybe he's out for this game. We don't know yet. Mm-hmm. Um, but who do you got in that game? Ravens. Hmm. I agree. Ravens. I agree. I think it's going to be the Baltimore Ravens that get this victory. Uh, but that's it, man. Ooh. That's it. I appreciate you joining us for this episode of Time to Football. Hey, you're not going to be a stranger, are you? Are you, you nah, going to be nah, coming nah. back? Same time next week. Let's do it. Let's run it back. Let's run it back. Run it back. Uh, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We come out with these Tuesday podcasts, NFL shows every Tuesday night mm-hmm. uh, on this YouTube channel. So make sure you guys stay up to date with that. And all these segments are going to be splitting up, put in on social media, on YouTube, and everything. Uh, give us a follow as well on Twitter. I'm on Twitter as at It's Hassan Khan. Uh, I don't know if Anthony has a Twitter, but if you have Instagram or something, you just want yeah, no, not a Twitter account, but I have an Instagram. You can follow me at um I am Duvernay <laughs> at uh, I am Devin Duvernay. No, no, <laughs> no. Okay, that would be so cool. That would be cool, man. I want to meet that guy. I sent him a message and he hasn't responded. But it's whatever. There we go. Uh. With all that said, thank you guys so much for watching this episode, and we'll see you next week. Take care. Peace. Da-na-na, na-na-na.